$2,400 Social Security Boost. All the details and latest updates right here in the video, so let's get right into it. Alright, now in this video, we're going to be discussing the $2,400 Social Security Boost as requested by so many of you right here in the community who have been reaching out to me asking for the latest updates, where we currently stand, and is this something we're actually going to be getting, and if so, when, because we need this money right away. Just like we've been seeing with all these reports that I've been bringing to you in these short videos over the last several months here. We continue to see the low income and fixed income beneficiaries need a lot more money right now and this $2,400 boost would be life changing for a lot of people. So let's get into it and discuss what's going on because things have changed a little bit here as of recently. So let's discuss it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so and because I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm here for you right by your side every single day watching all this new information, hitting the wire, doing the research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what's actually going on and most importantly how it's going to impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account and of course anything popping up right now you can possibly grab and or take advantage of as I truly want to help you out in any way that I can. So again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet so you don't miss any videos going forward and also remember I am here for you in any way that I can be. That's my dedication, that's my commitment, and as always, that is my promise to you and everybody right here in the community. All right, thanks again. Let's get into it and talk about the $2,400 Social Security boost, which would reach millions upon millions of beneficiaries, where we currently stand, what are the latest updates, and is it finally going to be coming or what's going on here? So remember, a few years ago, way back in early 2020, we got this teaser as well as all of these lawmakers came forward and they introduced the $200 per month raise, but it was going to be a short-term raise. Well, remember back then, we were all very, very excited about it and then nothing ever happened, right? Remember all that? Uh, yeah, we all remember that one very vividly, right? Well, not that many months ago, about mid of last year, we had another group of Senate Democrats come out and reintroduce basically the exact same thing. Another $200 increase to monthly beneficiaries, otherwise known as $2,400, throughout the course of the entire year, encompassing millions upon millions of beneficiaries. However, the major difference is, the one that we saw back in early 2020, by that small handful of Democratic senators was just a short-term boost. It was only going to be for about a year and a half at most. Well, that would have been a pretty painful situation when all of a sudden, if that would have gone into fruition and if we would have been getting that $200 per month raise, don't get me wrong, would have been super nice, right? But all of a sudden, a year and a half later or when that would have actually expired, all of a sudden, it would have been a really, really bad situation when many uh, millions of beneficiaries would have been relying on that money and all of a sudden they say, sorry, yoink, out of here, and they take it all away. Not good, right? Well, here's the difference, is this new proposal that we got out of senior Senate Democrats just uh, about the mid-time of last year is actually introducing this, and this new proposal would actually be going for about 73 years. So I think we're probably good to go, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? So that would be totally fine. In fact, this new piece of legislation would actually push this out until 2096. So a long, long time from right now, right? So that is 73 years from right now. So yeah, that's a long time from now. So here's the deal. This is within the Social Security Expansion Act. Now again, to be totally fair, yes, I have talked about this in previous videos, and this is that $200 per month raise that's encompassed with this in, uh, within this one. Now here's the thing that's also exciting about this. Remember this as well way back in mid-2020. So yeah, we're getting to be a few years ago now. As we were talking about that $200 raise that was kind of disappearing at the time, remember? I was basically saying then and from then over the last couple of years here, I've been saying, unless we get a new proposal on this, I highly doubt that first one would be, would be coming back. And yeah, we didn't see the first one come back, but rather we got a brand new proposal coming out. And again, the Social Security Expansion Act. Now again, there's more in this bill, there's more in this piece of legislation than just a $200 per month raise. However, I'm going to be fair with you right now. You probably don't get really care about the rest of the provisions within it, including raising payroll taxes, raising the uh, the amount of Social Security um, taxes that are paid into Social Security, things like that. Again, 
it's all good stuff, but at the end of the day, it doesn't mean money in your pocket. It essentially means higher income people will just essentially be paying more in social security payroll taxes. And again, that's not really what we wanna focus on here in this video. We wanna focus on money coming into your pocket, not about other people paying more taxes, right? Now again, we can talk about all that in a separate video, but let's talk about the actually the good part of this piece of legislation, right? More money coming to you. Now let me give you the details on this because yes, things have changed a little bit. So I want to give you the details. And again, coming back as requested by many of you here in the community asking, uh, where do we stand here? What's going on? And are we going to be getting it? Now, here's the thing. Obviously, as we all know, at the beginning of this year, we got the new Congress that was brought in, right? So now this is the new Congress that was brought in and that was elected as a result of the midterm election back in November of last year. Now, again, obviously we know this stuff, right? But the new Congress is now in place. Well, it's been pretty busy here over the last several weeks, right? <laughs> yeah, this new Congress, they're coming in and they're trying to get a few things done. Are they succeeding? Well, that's anybody's guess at this point, right? Now, again, just like so many pieces of legislation, bills and packages and all th kinds of things like that, a lot, of a lot of proposals, a lot of things being introduced, but at the end of the day, just like everything, they introduce a lot and very few actually make it all the way through the legislative process and actually turn into law. That's nothing really new. That is something that's always been going on. It's been happening for a very long time. In fact, if you've been watching the videos here on the channel for any length of time now, how many bills, proposals, packages, and ideas have you heard me bring to you out of lawmakers only to find out, oh, guess what? Another one we get to just throw in the burn pile because it never did anything, right? Yeah, exactly. A lot. In fact, maybe there's like a 10% success rate on the, the bills and packages that come in. I'm not sure what the uh, what the actual success rate is of them, but it's probably very minimal. Maybe 10%, I would guess, maybe even less than that. So we get a lot of proposals and very few of them actually make it through. Now, again, I'm not saying that's necessarily the case with the Social Security Expansion Act. However, we do need to take into consideration the new Congress, right? Things have changed a little bit. Now, the entire Congress, as in all the senators and all the representatives in the House, are not new, but there are a number of new faces and a number of new people in the House and a number of new people in the Senate. Okay, well, what does that mean? It simply means that there's new ideas, there's new beliefs, there's new agenda items, there's new, um, you know, there's no itinerary. There's new things that they want to work on and new priorities. Remember that much as well. Now, again, have we really gotten to a good glimpse of what the real priorities are of this new Congress. Well, not really. It's still too early. Until we actually get them in there for quite a while, as in several months down the road, maybe even a year into their term, we'll get a really clear picture of exactly what they're uh, what they want to do, right? Because as of right now, it's you know even even as long as they've been in there so far, we don't really know what they really want to get done, right? It's just kind of been a mess so far. But remember this much: the new Congress is in place, and this is something that Congress needs to be done. This is not something that Social Security can just come out and say, we're going to grant a $200 per month raise to everybody. It'd be nice. Unfortunately, Social Security cannot do that. Now, also, in a short time from now, in just a few months, we should be getting the next um, the next reading out of the Social Security Board of Trustees. Now, why do we care about this? And what does this have to do with a potential $200 per month raise to Social Security beneficiaries? Now, here's another uh, interesting point and something we wanted to, may take into consideration. Is this new report coming out of the Social Security Board of Trustees is going to give us the latest glimpse into, yes, the trust fund and what's going on here how much money is being brought in to social security through payroll taxes and how much money is actually going out right this is going to be a very important measure as we get this wrap up out of the board of trustees and they give us a better glimpse as to when are we potentially looking at an insolvency date now remember last year when we got this report it came out and they said about 2034 at the time would be the insolvency date Okay, that's good, but what has changed over the last year? Again, a very important report we'll need to watch for very closely because maybe the insolvency date has moved up. Maybe it's bumped up a couple, um, you know, a couple months. Maybe it's bumped up a year, something like that. Again, we'll want to pay a very close attention to this because here's the thing. The closer that that insolvency date actually comes to, you know, present time right now, if it actually gets moved up as in maybe they say, I don't know, 2033 or 
2032 and four months or something like that. If it gets closer, if it gets moved up closer to present time right now, the likelihood of legislation and some type of changes to Social Security coming in is probably more likely because lawmakers might be looking at the situation wondering, okay, well, guess what? Our timeline just got chopped at the end. In other words, we're losing time here. We've got to act sooner than later. And at some point, we know that Congress will have to act on this. This is not a, you know, well, we'll just see how it goes here or uh, who cares? We'll just leave it alone. You know, we'll let the next Congress do it. At some point, they've got to do something because they're literally running out of time. And we know that Social Security is not going anywhere, okay? Even though we hear all these, you know, talk that Social Security is going broke, Social Security is busted, all kinds of things like this. Yeah, they have financial issues. There's definitely financial issues within Social Security, but at the same time, it's not something that they're just going to say, well, you know, we're good. We'll, we'll just leave it alone. We'll, ah, we'll be fine. We can go ahead with those with those benefit cuts. No problem at all. Everybody will be just fine. Not a chance. Not happening, right? That would not be a good thing, and I highly, highly doubt they're, gonna, they're going to allow that to happen. In other words, Congress will be forced to act. Well, at that point, they're going to be looking at some different solutions and or piece of legislation or bills, whatever ideas they can come up with and actually agree upon between all the lawmakers or at least the majority of lawmakers makers to come together and reform Social Security in some form to actually do something for the beneficiaries. Maybe at that same time, again, is when they could actually implement some kind of imp uh, implementation of a raise to benefits to actually ben uh, bring benefits up to where they should be, or maybe adjust the cost of living adjustment as in how it's calculated each year. There's a whole variety of different things that could be happening. And again, all of this is predicated on Congress the new Congress, the new lawmakers, and what happens here over the next few years. Now, again, does it necessarily mean that this Congress is going to be the one who actually does all the changes? Realistically, highly doubtful, right? Highly doubtful this, this Congress will be, especially when it comes to the insolvency issue. However, when it comes down to the Social Security Expansion Act, again, maybe they come forward and maybe they actually do something about it. Maybe they go through that piece of legislation and they cherry pick some of the pieces of legislation out of it and they say, hey, this is good. We like the $200 per month raise because, like the president has said, no older adults or people with dis uh, disabilities should ever need to live in poverty in America. Got it. Check. We agree, right? So maybe they go through this piece of uh, this bill and maybe they pull out some of the different pieces that many of the lawmakers agree on. We already know that Republicans do not want to raise taxes in any way, shape, or form. That would force lawmakers to do something else as far as making sure that the program remains solvent and making sure that all the benefits are payable that have been promised to beneficiaries, right? So another very key point here. So when it really comes down to it, uh, at the end of the day, it all comes down to this new Congress and realistically what they actually want to get done for Social Security. Now, here's the thing. We've already seen some new updates coming out here over the last couple, you know, few weeks here and uh, the new uh, since this new Congress have been, has been put in place, but we'll need to continue watching them very closely over the coming weeks, coming months. Obviously, every day we'll need to continue watching them and over the next couple of years here as this Congress is in place because it's basically in the, it's it's basically up to them right now. That's pretty much all we have to, that's pretty much what we know as of right now is that anything goes on between social security and fixed income benefits or anything else right now in regards to money, benefits or anything, it's all up to Congress right now. We know that, right? So therefore we got to continue watching them because they are the ones that, <laughs> as the saying would go, they essentially hold the purse, right? They have the one who has the final say as far as, well, they get a, are they going to open that thing up and divvy out some cash or are they just going to keep it all sealed up for themselves, right? Well, we kind of know how that goes, right? So anyway, I want to bring this latest update. As of right now, no, a $200 per month raise has not been approved. A $200, or sorry, a $2,400 boost has not been approved. However, this is something that Congress has introduced not even that long ago. It was about mi uh, the middle time of last year, and it's still very much out there. So at any given point, if Congress wanted to revisit that piece of legislation, or if they wanted to go through it and take out any of the provisions within it to actually change Social Security, they could absolutely do that. There's nothing stopping them from doing that. But just like with everything, right? Just like with um, uh, the president, any new president, doesn't even matter who the president is, with lawmakers, everything like that. Generally, when they uh, are brought in, right? So like the president, for example, the first 100 days is always the, the kind of the big, let's get as much as we possibly can done, right? So anytime that the new Congress comes in or the president comes in, and again, doesn't matter who the president is, they all focus on their first 100 days. And then after that, they kind of feel like, 
like, ah, I can kind of kick back now for the next three and a half years and uh, I'm just kind of good to go, right? So anyway, when it comes down to it, usually they go for the low hanging fruit from the very start because it's easy and it makes them look good from the very start. So when the new president comes in, and again, I'm, I'm not, I'm not pointing at any uh, any president in particular. I'm just simply saying, usually presidents and the lawmakers, they usually go for the low hanging fruit right away because it makes them look super good because they got a lot of stuff done in a short amount of time. Well, I can tell you this much, any type of reform to social security or any type of fixed income benefits is not necessarily a low hanging fruit. This is going to be kind of a long term drawn out process of going through the legislative process. It's going to take a while. It's not something that they're going to be able to just wham, bam, thank you, and we're done kind of thing. No, it's not going to work that way. It's going to take a long time of back and forth negotiations, um, debates, all kinds of things like that. It's just going to be a drawn out process. So, that's kind of what I wanted to make, uh, kind of the point that I wanted to make is that, you know, as Congress is here, still relatively new, they're probably not going to go after this one right away just because they know it's not going to be one of those things they can hammer out in a week's time and be done and then look like heroes. That's not unfortunately how it's going to be. It's going to be more drawn out than that. It's probably going to take a few months, realistically, uh, to start this whole process, to go through all of the different um, procedures that is necessary. It's going to take a while. So I just want to let you know that, yes, it's still very much a thing. However, we'll need to continue watching it. And um, of course, I can do that as well. Just like I'm watching everything else out there right now, especially as it pertains to the low income and fixed income. And again, like I've always said, I want to continue watching anything as it pertains to your monthly benefits, because ultimately that is the most important is getting more money for you in the form of raises to benefits, checks, stimulus, whatever else comes up right now. Of course, I want to bring that to you. So again, Hope this kind of ups, uh, gives you an update as far as what's going on and what we need to continue watching. I know there's a lot of moving parts here, but either way, please remember, I'm here for you in any way that I can be, and I'm watching all this stuff very closely, even though it seems like nothing's ever happening. Well, there's actually a lot that's happening. A lot of things are going on on a very regular, regular basis. And again, I'm watching all of it closely and I'm bringing you the updates as I get more information. So again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet so you don't miss any videos going forward. Share this video with your friends, family, social media so they can stay updated with what's going on with a $2,400 Social Security boost as well as go back and check out any of the other thousands upon thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Have a good one and I'll catch you again later in the next video.